I'm visiting with David F. Johnston from b and I'm at the Mega Symposium in Baltimore, Maryland. David gave a presentation on electrostatic precipitators this morning. First of all, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, um, my name is David Johnston um, in Newport News, Virginia. We do uh, basic research and build electrostatic precipitator controls in Newport News. And uh, we've been doing this for over 25 years. All right, electrostatic, electrostatic precipitators are in wide use throughout the world. Um, you've done some research. What, uh, what did you find in the research on power supplies? Well, we uh, started a research project on power supplies to quantify what's the best power supply and what's the implication of putting various power supplies on the precipitator. Um, had some very surprising results from this research and it explained a lot of the problems that occur in precipitators ex that throughout the world. So it's been some very exciting research, um, very worthwhile research which has helped direct us on many projects to, p to produce a better product for the customer with more value. And you talked about single phase and, and three phase uh, systems. What advantages were you finding from each of the systems? Well, single phase is how it's been done for years. And single phase has an enviable record of reliability. And what we were hoping to discover in our research is um, can we match the reliability of single phase with the new low ripple power supplies? And I feel that we have with the three phase power supply, three phase low frequency. And you said some of the different advantages are in size as well as the uh, weight and structural. Uh, aspects? There's so many considerations in power supplies, it's why we did the paper, is um, there's performance considerations, but past performance, there's size, weight, cost. For example, on a precipitator, if you're going to put this power supply on top of the unit, um, you have to ask yourself, do you want to service it there? How big is it? How much does it weigh? All of these are things affect your decision, and the paper covers all of that. And you talked about how temperature is a, a big driving decision in the process as well. For instance, in Arizona, you have higher temperatures, which are hard on power supplies. Is that correct? It, it's, you're, you're very correct. That uh, If we're going to put the electronics in a, do we want the electronics in a controlled, air-conditioned controlled room, for example, climate-controlled room, or do we want to place the whole assembly in one package on the roof of the precipitator? Um, there's multiple types of precipitator, dry and wet. Some of them have um, harsh conditions. So some of our considerations on the type of power supply is based on where we're going to put it. And you've seen uh, expansion throughout the world in, in using precipitators. Where, where is your business uh, mostly centered in this point in, in time? Well, that's a, that's a very hard question. Of course, domestic U.S., we do quite a bit of business, but we also have a global reach, and we're seeing more and more activity in China, particularly on our electrical product line, where they're very accepting of the new technology and um, the advancements that we're able to deliver. Okay. Thanks a lot, David. I appreciate your help. Thank you. This is Aaron Larson for Power Magazine, reporting from the Mega Symposium.